Hi, this is Zach Brooks with World Transplant Athletes. Tips and tricks by and for transplant athletes anywhere, everywhere, and online. If you have a body with a new part and you can move, you are a World Transplant Athlete. As a two-time kidney transplant recipient and frequent participant at local, national, and world transplant games, I always wonder how do other recipients take care of their health and prepare for competitions? Well, there's only one way to find out, and that's to learn from the most inspiring transplant athletes in the world. Today, I have Renshia LaRue from South Africa. Renshia, thank you so much for joining today. How are you? Thanks for having me, Zach. I'm fine, thank you. Excellent. So before we get to your, your tips, and you sent those to me a few weeks ago, so thank you so much. I have a few warm-up questions for you to see, to, to little, learn a little bit more about you. So the first uh, question I have for you is, which transplant did you have? I had a kidney transplant. Okay, and that was from, who was that from? My sister was my donor, my older wow. sister. Great, so you should take her out to dinner sometime or something. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the second question I have for you is, if you had to summarize your transplant journey in one word, what would it be? Blessed. Okay. Uh, next question, what was your first exercise post-transplant? Okay, so post-transplant, I started walking um, just in my neighborhood. Then my sister who donated the kidney, she joined me and we would enter like five kilometer fun walks, fun runs. Mm -hmm. um, other people would run and we walked. Wow. Yeah, I remember my, yeah. um, I really like that, that answer. I know my first, what I considered my first training after my, my second transplant was my first 100 steps in the hospital. And then the next day was 125. So, you know, I think that is so important that that gradual kind of thing you did. So a uh, final warm up question before we get to your tips is in which activities and sports do you regularly participate? Okay, so I do a bit of walking, um, running, I do cycling just for fun with my husband um, and I train at the gym and then I also train at the track as I am a track and field athlete. Excellent. So let's get right now to your tips. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna read them one through five because they're, they're so excellent, your tips. And then we'll go back to the top and you can explain each tip a little bit more. So the first tip you have is enjoy every moment. Number two is support your fellow teammates. Number three, get a feel for the stadium. I'm really looking forward to hearing more about that one. Number four, don't underestimate yourself. And number five, stay healthy, stay happy, and stay active. So let's go back to the first tip you have for everyone. Enjoy every moment. What do you, what do you mean by that? Yeah, I, I would say enjoying my every moment. Um, I am a very emotional person. So being emotional is fine. We all have endured a lot. And being able to participate in sport after being sick is a huge thing. Mm -hmm. The fact that you are at the games to participate and represent your country already makes you a champion. Mm -hmm. So just enjoy the moment. Yeah, thank you. Uh, number two, you list here, support your fellow teammates. What do you mean by that? Yeah, so I am a track and field athlete and I only participate right at the end of the games. So the days before my events, mm -hmm. I support my fellow um, teammates at their different sport codes. So if you are able to go and watch any of the other sport, by all means do it. You get the opportunity to make, meet amazing people, fellow um, athletes and supporters. Mm -hmm. At the World Transplant Games in Newcastle, UK in 2019, people on the street would stop us and ask about the games and people participate, participating as we were wearing our country track suits. I then used the opportunity to speak to people about organ donation. Nice. Number three, you would say, get a feel for the stadium. What does that mean? That sounds kind of interesting, but kind of strange. Mm -hmm. What does it mean to get a feel for the stadium? Yeah, so during the week, all the athletes get to train at their different um, venues before they compete. So I use the opportunity to get a feel for the stadium. Um, I do a little bit of um, training with a light jog around the track, um, look around, yeah, just take it all in. 
Um, and I will practice like my starts for my 100 meters, but I won't go all out. I don't take the risk, risk to injure um, myself by training too hard the, a day or two before your actual race. So when you reach the games, you have already put in all the training and the hard work. You got this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I love this piece of advice. It reminds me of um, some research that's done on people who take tests. So students, let's say. So if students go yeah. to the place where they're going to take tests, before they take the test, um, it makes them much more comfortable that day because if you the first time you get to a new place, everything is new. But if you've been there before, it feels like home. So that's sort of a really nice piece of advice. You go there, you become comfortable. And then the day of the competition, you just go, right? Yes, yes, that's exactly. So in the first time, like you said, when you get there, it feels... Yeah, you don't know this place, but um, if you get, get there the day of the competition, it does feel like home. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, so the fourth yeah. tip you shared with everyone, with me, now you're sharing it with everyone else, is don't underestimate yourself. Yes, yeah, so to any fellow transplantee who considers taking part in sport after transplant, just do it. Don't underestimate yourself, because that is what I did. Um, there's a sport code to suit anyone who wants to be part of this amazing community of athletes. So you just start slowly and you build up your strength, your speed, your endurance, and listen to your body. If you feel tired, then you rest. If you like practice today and you cannot achieve the goal that you set for yourself, don't stress about it. You mm -hmm. just go back tomorrow or the week thereafter and you try again. You will achieve. You know, I really love this one. Uh, and the reason why I think I really like it, what you just said is it was sort of two things. Like one, don't underestimate yourself. But the other part you said is, you know, if you go out one day and you exercise, but you don't feel very good, then don't worry, just come back tomorrow. Um, so, you know, I, I love this advice. So it's don't under underestimate yourself. On the other hand, it's take it easy on yourself. But it's a really nice piece of advice you have, I think for everyone. Uh, so the final one you said, stay healthy stay happy and stay active. Now, this sounds like a philosophy. Can you share a little bit more about this? Yeah, so um, we as transplantees need to take care of our bodies, of, of our bodies. So you have to stay healthy, eat healthy. Um, if you're happy, happy mind, then you are, your body will be happy and you have to stay active. Even, and some people think active is like you have to run and jog and no, walking is fine. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Rinshia, thank you so much for being on this show today. So for any people out there watching the show, you can log into Facebook at facebook.com forward slash world transplant athletes. And I'm going to try to upload weekly interviews with people like Rinshia, other transplant athletes. Now, world transplant athletes, tips and tricks are by and for transplant athletes anywhere, everywhere, and online. If you have a body with a new part, and you can move. You are a world transplant athlete. Rencia, thank you so much for being on the show today. Thank you for having me, Zach.